Oh, spider mites. Gross. Wait, I know. Okay, guys, below my chin as we speak, I have, I think, 2,000, maybe 4,000. I can't remember the package size that I bought, but 2,000 to 4,000 mites, red mites, predatory mites that I have bought to deal with spider mites. So let's open this up and see how these guys have come. So I purchased these from Bugs for Bugs. I will put the information up on the screen. Sorry guys, just rocking your world, literally. All right, and so this is an Australian company. So if you're watching this from overseas, you won't be able to get these from them, I imagine, or at least it'd be a bad idea to probably order living organisms from Australia and have them sent to you overseas. You can probably find them locally. Uh, but these are predatory mites. So a type of arachnid. And my wife who's sitting off camera here <laughs> has a phobia of spiders. So yeah. I'll just have to tell her that, don't worry, it's fine. They're not spiders. Do you want to spread them in the house? Yeah, probably. What's this? Oh, it's just a, yeah, they're fine. They're tiny. Uh, you'll be fine. That's a cool little container. Straighten up the camera again. Okay. Yeah, so 2000 units. There you go. I wonder if they just sit there with tweezers and individually just count them in. In you go, mate, in you go. You'd need an army of people to do that. Okay, so the genus is Persimilis, I believe. That's the genus of bugs. This does feel pretty moist, so obviously they're in here. Um, the reason I bought these recently is because I kind of freaked out. I bought a friend, I sourced her a Monstera elbow cutting and bought myself a Thai Constellation at the same time and they came with spider mites on them, or at least what I think was spider mites, because I could see webs, and there were these tiny little white dots that weren't moving, but I think when I looked it up, because it's winter at the moment, and those are probably dormant eggs on the plants, and so I, to treat them, I put them in the shower, I wash them down, I wipe the leaves, I then use neem oil um, once, I turned the heat lamp on in the bathroom with the fan going, dried them off, and then repeated that process again, and then um, let them sit there overnight. And then the next day I repeated it again, um, but I'm very anal about uh, getting spider mites into my collection. As you guys may know, I have quite a few plants now and quite a few um, kind of rare and expensive plants that I do not want to be infested and die. So, oh, okay, wow, sweet. Oh, wow, oh shit, there's tons. <laughs> what did you expect? Oh, you can actually see them? Yeah, come to look. Oh. Look, they're running around. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, it's raining. It's raining really heavily. Yeah, it's, it's safe for the kids. Come and have a look. You can see them running around all over the place. Look at them all. You see them? Oh. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not. This is really cool, guys. And sorry about the, um, the rain, but this is what they look like. So I guess I'm just gonna release these into the house onto my plants and hope that they take out any potential spider mites. But I feel really bad if there are none, if I don't have that many spider mites, these guys are probably gonna starve to death. So I kind of feel bad about that. Look at them all, aren't they beautiful? Go you good things. All right, so I've opened this can of worms. There didn't seem to be any instructions that came with it. So I'm just going to, I think, oh man, I don't want to squash any of these dudes. I'm sorry guys. I think I'm just gonna kinda, I could probably use a paintbrush or something to sort of put them in different places, but I have this cap and I might just sort of wipe them onto plants like this um, throughout my collection, you know, and hope that if there are any spider mites here, that these guys just take them out. I might also just Probably just um, blow, them, blow them into the collection, really. That's interesting. I guess the other thing is, so because it's come in vermiculite, the other thing I can do is probably just get a spoon and just spoon it out onto the different plants that I've got. So I might do that. Um, so come with me, let's have some fun. Okay, let's grab a little spoon. Just a 
two spoon. In fact, uh, yeah, I'll just use a teaspoon to be honest. Nice one of these. Okay, so turn the lights on over here. Yeah. Whoop. That's slipping over on the cars. Kids toys everywhere. All right, so obviously you need to be kind of quick. I've set you guys up here so that you can check out all of the action and I guess I'll probably end up doing a montage. Let's go. Okay, I think I'm about done. I've still got a bit left. So I'm not sure if I just sort of leave this sitting like this and they'll just come out and walk around, I guess. But um, yeah, so I guess that's probably all there is really to it, guys. You just end up buying a few thousand of these guys. I think this was about, I think maybe $40 and you just spread it around all your different pots, everything you're worried about. Um, you can obviously get them onto a lid or as they're crawling around on the actual container, you can just sort of blow them off into your plants. Otherwise just spoon out some of the vermiculite with the mites on them and just put them onto any plants or every plant that you are worried about. So that's it for this episode and I guess I will keep you up to date. But hopefully I don't have any mites though that's probably very unlikely. So I'm not sure if an infestation will appear or not, but if it doesn't, Hopefully it's because of these guys anyway. So I'm, I'm lying here doing some, some work guys on the couch. I've got my computer in front of me. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I just, um, I look at my hand and I just see a mite crawling across it. So I guess one of the uh, downsides is if you have arachnophobia or you're not a fan of um, small animals, uh, using these sorts of preventative measures for spider mites, you're probably going to have these things crawling on you and around the house for I don't know, days, maybe weeks, depending on how long they can survive on the food that's here. Um, the other thing I noticed, I don't, know, I don't know if it was because the mites are on my skin, but I keep like feeling what, what I imagine are little animals running around, crawling across me. I, pr I doubt they are, but I, it's funny after you handle them, you just sort of like, oh, I can just feel them on my body. Every little like hair movement on my arm or whatever, I'm like, oh, more mites are on my body still. <laughs> so again, yeah, just, just something I thought I'd mention. It's pretty funny. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'm Pete. This is Pete vs. Plants. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.